my very first episode of Wellness For You Wednesday. So every Wednesday I'm going to be sharing some tips that are going to help you get more in control of your health and wellness because how often do we live up to somebody else's expectations but we put our own priorities on the back burner and most often of all those priorities that we stick on the back burner are our own health and wellness so today i'm going to be sharing an optimal health tracker with you which i give out to all my anxiety clients people that i see for depression and it's one of the trackers that i use in my optimal health and wellness groups as well it covers all the main pillars of optimal healthy living and so um, I figured I'd share it with you today and then uh, you've got your own way of tracking because so often we need to be the leader of our own lives. Um, it's so easy to get, get stuck in that rut of just being reactive to things that happen to us rather than taking control and being proactive and deciding that this is what we want for our lives and we're not going to accept this crap anymore and that can be removing people out of your relationships who are toxic it can be cutting out some of the things that you're putting into your body regularly that you know aren't doing you any good and, um, and so I'm just going to go over the six pillars that I follow regularly daily and um, and then in more sort of wellness for you Wednesdays, I'll break those down and we'll go into more detail too. So first one is, well, the, basically the six pillars are, what are you eating? What are you drinking? What's the quality and the quantity of your sleep like? Are you taking time out for yourself? Because that is also so important for just overall fun and pleasure for our lives. Are you moving your body? What are your thoughts? How many of us have negative thoughts and then we catch ourselves thinking, oh my God, I can't even believe I just thought that. And a lot of us are just unaware of our thought processes, but what we think puts out energy there as well into the universe. And what we put out comes back to us. I used to think that was a load of bunkum, but since becoming a psychotherapist and since reading a lot of information and books and various bits and pieces about this sort of thing, energy attracts energy. So if you're putting out the right stuff, you're going to be getting the better stuff back to. So it's all about just balancing things. It's not about being perfect. Perfect doesn't exist to start with. We're all human. It's about, it's about taking little steps that we know we need to take in order to up-level our lives and just get on top of being the CEO of our own existence. Um, it's about taking responsibility. It's about being a good role model to those who look up to us. And it's about being our best friends because I think often we treat ourselves way worse than we would ever treat a friend. And you know, when you when you become aware of your neg negative self chatter as well, we say the worst things to ourselves. You would never say that to your friend. You probably would never say the things that we say to ourselves to our enemies. So why are we saying them to ourselves? Because again, that's telling our subconscious stuff that we that we're not in love with ourselves, that we, we hate ourselves. There are various as aspects of, I think all of us would change something physically about our body. All of us would change something about our thought systems, but we berate ourselves about it rather than accepting ourselves. And I think this all comes from a place of self-acceptance and then a place of thinking, yeah, I accept myself as I am, I'm doing my very best, but there are a few steps that I can take to change and improve. So. That's why I'm just literally going to summarise really quickly today. I've got a hospice client I've got to go off and see in a few moments, so I promise I'm not going to go on for too long. So first of all, eating. What do we eat? One of the easiest things that you can do is add more vegetables into your daily diet. So few of us eat enough vegetables, which is a major, major problem. We need vegetables to keep, keep us regular. Definitely. If you get bunged up, if you suffer with constipation, you probably need to eat more vegetables. I recommend to people that they eat vegetables at least three times a day. Um, I had an egg on toast today. I normally make that with spinach and onions and chilli and coriander and that sort of stuff. Didn't have any of that in the house, so I just put some green beans with it and actually it was absolutely delicious. So if you can add vegetables to your 
you, you know, some into your breakfast, some into your lunch, some into your evening meal, add veggies. There's a, fruit gets a really bad rap. Fruit is good for you. It's full of different colors. It's full of, it's high fiber, it's antioxidants, it's phytonutrients. Try and eat the fruits which are the sour fruits. So go for more of the berries, the dark berries, like the blueberries, the blackberries, raspberries, logan berries, you know, that sort of thing. So try and stick to the, the darker colored fruits rather than the, the, the mangoes and the pineapples and the bananas. Although bananas are really good for you because they are high in potassium, they're high in fibre, they're high, they are high in sugar, but they're so good in other things that I, I eat a banana nearly every single day and I'm one of the healthiest, happiest people I know, so it definitely works. And also, banana is one of those fantastic foods that helps us to release L-tryptophan into our system, which converts to serotonin, which is our feel-good hormone. So, bananas are good, just don't overdo it but with bananas. If you've got a large banana, maybe have half of it or buy small bananas. That's the best way. And the riper they get, the higher the sugar content. So bear that in mind too. And do you know, you can freeze bananas. They freeze brilliantly. And if you like something sweet after your evening meal, just literally get a, when you freeze them, slice them up, put them into a freezer bag, and then just get a food processor, whiz them all up, and then that creates like banana nice cream. And I've got a load of recipes I will share with you guys at some point. Uh, or let me know, DM me if you want me to share those recipes with you and I'll just send it through to you. Um, they are awesome, but they're a really healthy dessert. And um, you use bananas as the base instead of ice cream. So it's a lot lower on the calories. There's no, none of the rubbish that you get in ice creams and you can add your own flavors to it and it really is absolutely divine so consider your banana and ice cream so bananas are a fruit that i highly recommend they do get a bad bad rap but they're fantastic so try and eat veggies three times a day eat the fruits uh, you want more veggies than fruits but you still need your fruits and go for the darker colored fruits how much water are you drinking a day so most of us are actually dehydrated and you know that if I mean, people say to me, I've got good skin. I'm 49, um, I'm, I have got a few wrinkles, things are moving south, but I think the reason for that is I, I don't touch Botox, I don't touch any of that sort of stuff, I use a face cream, and I use my good old H2O. Now, I weigh about 135 pounds, so I drink two and a bit of these every single day. So the easiest way to track your water is to measure how much you need and then put it in a bottle and know how many bottles that you need to be drinking. To work it out, you basically take your weight in pounds, divide that in half, and the answer is the amount of fluid ounces a day that you should be drinking. So say you weigh 140 pounds, divide that by two, that gives you 70 pounds, so you should be drinking 70 fluid ounces of water a day. Moving on to sleep, so we all have different requirements, but also sleep deprivation is a form of torture, and when you are tired, you make poorer food choices, you're going to be reaching for the fast sugars, the things that aren't going to be healthy for you, your cortisol levels are already going to be raised, which is your stress hormone, which helps, well, causes you to hang on to belly fat, and that's if you're trying to reduce your belly fat, most of us have got a little bit of belly fat, you want to be making sure you get good sleep. When I track my weight and my measurements, uh, if I'm really dialing in my nutrition, and I've had a bad night's sleep, but I've literally everything else has stayed the same, so the food stayed the same, the water intake has stayed the same, my exercise has stayed the same, but if I have a bad night's sleep, I weigh heavier the next day. I just, it's bonkers how it works, but it's true. So sleep is so important, but also is the quality of your sleep. So work out what is best for you. It might be that you've got to go to bed a bit earlier. You might need a better routine before you go to bed. So cut out caffeine from, I don't know, 12 o'clock, two o'clock onwards. Don't drink coffee in the evening. My stepfather can drink coffee before he goes to bed and he sleeps like a train. Train? Baby? Dog? Babies don't sleep well. Sleep's like something that sleeps really, really well. Coffee doesn't seem to affect him at all. I can't drink coffee after 2.30. It's just like, no. Turn off your screens, turn off your phones. Um, I would say a good two hours before you go to bed because it's the blue light that frazzles your brain. And I know if I've been working really, really hard and I've worked late, no matter how tired I am, I cannot sleep. If you're exercising, try and not exercise and be, um, within two hours of going to bed. 
again it spikes your adrenaline unless it's something relaxing like yoga um, it spikes your adrenaline and that is going to make going to sleep so much more difficult it might be that you go to bed and read a book instead um, drink a herbal tea that's got chamomile and valerian and things like that in uh, um, essential oils like lavender are really relaxing chamomile is really relaxing those will help you go to sleep so just bear that in mind um, be really mindful of the quality of your sleep it is an absolute cornerstone of our health so your thoughts toxic thoughts negative thoughts this is something that you're really going to have to practice some self-awareness with it is in the tracker this is the tracker that i'm going to link to you guys it's um i will share that with you um your thoughts your mindset is so important today i woke up we had a funeral yesterday i was in the car for seven hours and i just felt exhausted I did my workout because I know it's good for me. I didn't really, I wasn't into it today, but I did it. I brushed my teeth because I know it keeps my teeth clean. I've had a shower because I know I should be keeping myself clean. These are ver these are non-negotiables I do every single day because I know they are good for me. Um, and so it's a manner of you committing to some non-negotiables daily that you know are good for you. It's probably upping your water intake. It's probably eating more vegetables. It's probably getting to bed slightly earlier and paying attention to you rather than what's on the soap opera that you've been watching you know when you think about it god how many how many hours of our lives do we waste glued to just shite on the television when you could actually be doing something that's beneficial for you whether that's reading a book that inspires you just taking time out and relaxing or allowing yourself to get to bed earlier which will make you make better decisions the next day but it also helps your thoughts so if you've had a good night's sleep you're going to be calmer you're going to have so much more love to share out to the world um get to bed earlier and be mindful of your thoughts so when you are talking cruelly to yourself or when you're thinking something negative about somebody else just pull back don't be cruel oh thanks for the heart whoever just given me the hearts um just pull back from it just think there is a better way I could I could talk to myself about this about don't you know jealousy is such a negative behavior uh, emotion anger is functional to a degree but get it out of your system and then move on do not berate do not want seek revenge it's just seriously bad for you what you get out put out there comes back to you so try and put some loving vibes out into the ether it does work and if you haven't got love to share just be ambivalent be neutral but try to most importantly the what the, the lingo you're gonna need to work on is how you talk to yourself that's where you're gonna have to become more mindful and be kinder to yourself if you wouldn't say what you're saying to yourself to your best friend zip it and replace it with something that is more productive and positive and kind to yourself so important R&R &R, literally our, our lives are just so crazy busy you need to have some time in your day which is just quiet and for you I have my contemplation step it's literally it's a crappy old step outside my kitchen it's in my garden I listen to the birds even if it's raining unless it's absolutely pouring down I sit on my step I'll have a glass of water or I'll have my shake or I'll have a have a sandwich and I sit there and literally it's five minutes it just gets me out away from the laptop away from the busyness away from thinking and those moments are so key to our health you might want to meditate you might want to do yoga you might just want to lie flat on the floor and think of nothing whatever it is that works for you do it another thing that I do is I take my dogs off for a walk I have to take the dogs for a walk anyway we go off across the fields that's normally about 40 minutes that's quite an extended period of R&R &R, but I, I schedule it normally for around the middle of the day so it gets me I can get some decent work done in the morning it gives me a break I become much more focused again because I'm out in nature I'm not thinking about the business I'm not screwing on my laptop and I come back and I feel a whole lot better so R&R &R is so key so make sure you do that take time out even if it's just to get away from your desk stretch a bit move around a bit take some deep breaths and get back into it but just and have some water make sure you're drinking water regularly throughout the day because it does does work helps your skin look better keeps you regular and it helps your whole body to detox if your body's clean your thoughts are cleaner you'll sleep better you'll make better food choices if you don't like water infuse it with fruits uh, cucumber mint strawberry basil um, all sorts of things you can stick in it 
just jazz it up avoid a lot of um uh, fruit juice because it's very high in sugar and there's no fiber in it so it's going to spike your sugar levels and that is not what you want to do um, you'd be better off to have uh, to get a juice uh, not a juicer make a smoothie so at least you're eating the fiber at the same time as well if you really struggle with water but persevere water is so so good for you maybe buy a water filter you know one of those filter jugs and make sure you just replace the filter regularly it takes all the yucky stuff out of the water that they stick in it um, and that makes it taste a lot lot nicer as well and then move it's so important to move your body we are designed to move we are not designed to sit on the couch and be sedentary all day long 20 minutes, 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes is just 2% of your 24 hour period. You don't have to do workouts like I do, but get out and move your body, whether it's walking. Depends what your goals are. If you want to get lean and strong and have some muscles, you're gonna to have to work them out without a shadow of a doubt. If you are a menopausal or postmenopausal woman, you need to do um, weight bearing exercises because uh, lack of estrogen makes our bones more porous and then we become more susceptible to things like osteoporosis, osteopenia. So it's really important to do weight bearing exercises um, and you want those all over. So running is good, it's a weight bearing exercise, but it's not going to do much for your arms and your shoulders and the upper, well your back either. So you do want to make sure you've got a good, a, a, a good choice, a, a good, um, a good supply of different workouts that you can do that are going to help you maintain that bone density it's super important but also moving our body it helps us detox again uh, our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump like our cardiac system does like obviously with the heart but our lymph node our, our lymphatic system relies upon us moving moving and also deep breathing in order to pump it around our body and when our lymphatic system is working correctly with detoxing. So I'm just going to summarise quickly because I need to shoot off and see my hospice client. Uh, watch, what you <clears throat> watch what you're eating, add more veggies to your day. Um, oh yeah, cut down on carbs too. Pasta, rice, potatoes. We eat way more carbs than we need to be doing and in actual fact the optimal health tracker that I'm going to share with you, um, it's got plates of suggested amounts of different food groups that you should eat at different times of day of the day so that will help you with that um, make sure you're drinking enough water it's your body weight in pounds divide that by half the amount of fluid ounces you should be drinking every day how much sleep are you getting and what is the quality of your sleep like if you need to make changes do get to bed earlier if you have to commit to it is one of the cornerstones of your health it's absolutely vital R and R. Make sure you're having some time out daily, ideally regular times a day. Watch your thoughts. Are they becoming negative? Are they toxic? Are you being cruel to yourself? Be aware of them. Either make the negative ones neutral, or ideally replace them with positive thoughts, and move your body. It's good for you. Right, you guys. That's it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found it helpful. I the link will be for the tracker will be underneath this. It's in the description. It's also in my bio on my Instagram. So um, click that, and that will uh, take you. It's called the Optimal Health Tracker. Have a great day, you guys.